Yo, yo, it's ODB from OLP. This is issue 175 of Mini Trucking Magazine, July 2006. We've got a lot to talk about. This was the Cool Car slash CCE Chevy four-door Colorado Roadster. Brian uh, Gillespie, I believe, was the owner's name. Of course, he's not a rookie to this game, is what it says in the table of contents. This is Chad Lucas's first and only photo credit, from what I recall, for the cover vehicle. It's the third of 10 total cover trucks with Bond Speed wheels. It's only the second of four total Chevy Colorados to grace the cover. Now, you'll see here it's a mid-size special. Of course, plastered across the front. And the other item that we see on the front here is First Blood sadistic ironworks sneak peek at the latest mid-size custom so we'll see some renderings and whatnot definitely i think a unique cover a unique build uh we never really saw anything quite like this especially a newer vehicle and for it to be cut the way that it is uh it's just pretty pretty insane uh, again bond speed wheels you've got a lot of different uh famous gatherings that we'll see here so let's jump right in. If you like what we're doing, leave a comment, even if it's just a thumbs up. Please consider subscribing and share. Uh, if you got the homies and the chicas, that would be down with this content. I'm working on a lot more and uh, definitely appreciate the support. We've got plenty of ads here. The next issue is when we'll see the page numbers bump up. So I'll probably talk about that then. Here is the famous TOC or table of contents we see here where it mentions Cool Car CCE and Brian Gillespie, I believe is how you pronounce the name. Photography by Chad, look, my first cover, Lucas. You can see there the um, features, including Kurtz, Colorado. You got an overseas feature and a really awesome Ford Ranger that we'll kind of get to. We're going through every issue. Again, this is issue 175. We started at issue number one. We have less than 100 left. On the left, you have Mike. Uh, his uh, Mike Shinman. I'm probably going to mess up these names, so I'm just going to stick to the first name. 93 Izuzu Rodeo. Some of you may recall this one. And uh, it's definitely awesome. Love seeing these rodeos. And then here you got Jason's 99 Chevy S10. New, uh, New Carlisle, Ohio. And you can see there are a lot of work in it. Tilt bed. Kind of crazy setup here, how the tilt bed works on the step side. And then you got a cow inducted hood with the blower kind of sticking through. Pretty cool. So you got buried and uh, to be blown. There you go. A couple cool names. Four, construction zone. Here you've got Severado. Severado. I always say that wrong. Uh, this was Kurt's amazing uh, Colorado. So, of course, we're talking mid-sized trucks in uh, this episode of uh, the flip-through, if I can kind of get my uh, bearing straight. Now, this was also featured in uh, on the cover of April 2006, Street Trucks. Now, I posted this recently, and I know uh, it is owned by a different Severed member now up in Washington, I believe. Super cool guy. He did even more work to this truck. And he made me pancakes back in 2009 when I went to relax it in the Northwest. Super cool dude. But the cool thing here is this is July 06. And if you think about it again, I think there's that stigma that, oh my God, it was featured. So, you know, it was on the cover of a magazine. Why should we feature it again? Well, this truck was awesome. And this feature gave it a totally different look and feel in terms of all of the work that went in this awesome ride. So to me, I never thought, hey, uh, the other magazine got it first. I'm not going to buy this one. That never flied with me. I always bought the magazines, and I love seeing these trucks featured multiple times. Unknown motivations. You got Chad Lucas. Shout out to the big homie. You got a severed shirt on, our famous Hot Wheels shirt. We'll give beer for tools. And then you've got the former DTE, Down to Earth, full size, was hanging out with uh, Bobby Boucher from Down to Earth last week. We were talking about that truck, uh, last weekend rather. Uh, don't forget, we are your mini trucking headquarters. If my sign will stay up, and we're going to keep on keeping on here at OLP. Carolina's famous freak show. 
saw Shannon from Freaks last weekend at Mini Nats 2024, and man, it was a blast. Here is Attack of the Midsize Truck. Shout out to Ron Perkins. He's been on ODB's Behind the Build slash ODB's Corner, where I talked about this famous truck, a regular cab. And you can see here on top, Graphic Disorder did the rendering for it. Uh, and then you have this famous project, Flat Broke. That was a super cool rendering. Crew cab as well. And uh, Nick Crouch did that one. Uh, you have First Blood, which was, you can see here, Sadistic Ironworks. And you have a Toyota Tacoma. Renderings have come such a long way, but you can see how big they were doing it back even then. Rest in peace, Ernie Macias. This was going to be the NR Raider. So the Mitsubishi Raider. Are you a fan of these trucks? I was never a huge fan of these, but I remember seeing this. Rest in peace to Ernie. And I thought to myself, you know, that's a pretty cool rendering, pretty cool concept. Definitely has that midsize feel. Uh, not, not the mini truck feel, but obviously ties in nicely to this uh, issue. Speaking of midsize, here's Midside Mania. Just kind of showing uh, some of the products in the marketplace available. So this is the cover truck. This is technically referred to as Sliced to Perfection. It's P-E-X-I-O-N. Little spin on the uh, spelling there. And this was a cool shot. Uh, this is way before there were drones. So you would imagine obviously kind of standing up above the truck to get that awesome shot. And that's a shot that you can't get if this truck has a roof, right? I mean, possibly a little bit if it has a sliding rag, but you can see the awesomeness of this truck. I believe this was at SEMA uh, the previous year of this, so SEMA 2005, I believe. This is one of those kind of trucks that you would imagine would be there. Uh, again, Chad Lucas shoots it, and he also does the write-up. This is the other cool thing I like about it is you've got the biomechanics and some of the graphics laid in nicely with the background so that's pretty cool stock windows for sale sliced to perfection and one of the standout features of this truck is literally the angle that they sliced it something totally different may or may not be something that uh maybe is your favorite truck but certainly a lot of work brian gillespie 05 chevy colorado super clean this would be something like if we would have seen this cruising at Mini Nats last weekend, you know, definitely a fun ride on a nice summer day. A lot of work went into this thing. You can see all the suspension work, the paint powder coat, the compressors, full interior. And uh, until you ride in a convertible or a roadster like this, uh, you don't really maybe understand, you know, sometimes maybe you've written in something that has a huge sliding rag top. I uh, think West Side before it became Crew Cut. But um, to me, there's just nothing like riding and something that's topless. And you can find our hashtag Live Life Topless and our Instagram account, uh, which is one, one of our sister pages on Instagram. Uh, I post all that content and I always tag it for any topless vehicles, which this would be a perfect one. Here's Resolutions 2006. For those that don't know, Resolutions is also coming back for the 50th anniversary. Bob Hayes was at Mini Nat, so I saw him last weekend. Good guy, uh, long, long, long time mini trucker and uh, vanner, if you will, from the early days. And, uh, of course, he's behind Resolutions. Many folks are going to be looking to go out to Rezo for the 50th anniversary, which I think is the end of 2025. So we've got plenty of time, or you do rather, uh, whoever is intending to go out there. I do not believe the destination is set yet. There's talks of Parker. There's talks of different places. But certainly the granddaddy of them all, um, Bob's looking to go out with a bang in terms of Rezo. Drag Daily Part you figure it out there. And again, this was a very advantageous project by Mike Alexander. You've seen some of the write-ups um, and, and some of the, the items there. You can always pause. This is all in 4K. This is by Chad Lucas, shot by Mike Alexander. Time Warp, putting the cool in old school. Super clean dragging video or video, uh, photo rather. And uh, just an awesome truck. You know, the guys out in Japan really do it big. We see a lot of their stuff now on Instagram. This was way before that. 
and super, super, super clean truck. I'm not going to attempt to pronounce his name, though, but you can see Tokyo, Japan, and those Ron Owl style wheels. Probably original Ron Owls, right? Uh, you got this awesome little deal graphic with, check out that bed treatment, super clean. Old school audio, suspension, all kind of showing through, rep and topper gang. And then, of, oh, by the way, it is topless, 720. Easily could have been the cover truck, in my opinion, but uh, certainly an awesome. You'll need to download an app for your car. Of course. Or add a car key to the wallet app. Yeah, you got to love how Siri just loves to jump in here, here and there. But back to the madness already in progress. So here you have Rich Teach, P-I-O-M-A-C-K, 94, uh, four Ranger Splash. He was from Michigan. Again, this style I think is uh, underrated that back in this era, you know, you had folks that were going, hey, flat, back, flat black, kind of a smoothie type wheel, uh, a real clean graphic, moon eyes tie in, and um, uh, just an awesome truck this is called my way uh which a little bit of spin there on the writing uh, mike alexander and chad lucas both shot this one and you've got the nice tie-in of the orange flame as well as the wheel into the interior and then oh by the way look it's inside the bed blue so really really super clean truck and i always loved features like this because it was you know i, I want to say it wasn't over the top it was just done very very nicely Here's Psycho Pneumatics. Again, you can see there that famous Colorado, which was on the cover. You probably, if you don't remember the cover truck, you probably remember seeing it here in these ads, depending on when you started reading the magazine. Another show that I was at, Blood Drag 2006. And you can see here, Little Shop had the blazer out there. Rest in peace, Jen Lacey. She just celebrated a happy Heavenly Born Day. Rest in peace to her and a lot going on at Blood Drag. I saw Eddie last week as well, last weekend. Speaking of Eddie, right there with the ladies and a lot going on at the show. This thing was always super clean. Mercury badging, I think, on the front, if I remember correctly. Full chassis. Definitely some good stuff. Here you have Castaways with a Z showdown in the sun. And uh, remember, another reason why I do these flip throughs is that way, like if you're like, hey, my truck was, you know, in a magazine, it was in some show coverage, you can always kind of um, zip through this pretty quick if you need to. Here you have Havoc. So Havoc had the great success. This would have been August 5th and 6th of 2006. And you can see Chicks Ride there, $5,000 worth of trophies and cash rewards. I never made it to the show, but um, certainly uh, many of you did. And there were some epic photos out there of Havoc. Uh, paper cuts. I usually don't spend a lot of time um, on this stuff. But again, you can always pause it and kind of bump up to 4K if you need to. Remember, YouTube auto uh, selects the uh, format based upon your um, speed. You got Waz Up. There's that photo I've been talking about forever. You've got the mini trucking back issues. Imagine if you could order those now. Uh, here you got, again, a lot of color ads. And I don't think I missed it. Um, I think the majority of this issue is color. But if I remember correctly, I may have grasped past it. Um, if, if we've gotten to all color. Uh, by now, but it, it's it's getting soon if we haven't hit it already. I mean, you could argue and say, well, that's not a color ad. But uh, Kool-Aid saw him as well at Mini Nat. Shout out to my ST brother in the Oasis ad. That was back when he was running hard, hitting shows everywhere, slinging merch. Uh, here you have the Fender Bender International. And someone did correct me on that, so thank you. I always wanted to say Fender Bender Incorporated, but it is international. And... You can see here, MT Graffiti, which Lance started. This was pretty cool. You got ST made out of the hard lines. Cadillac makes it in, full-size car, and a super sick rendering. Again, renderings have come so far. It's just insane how far we've come. 
Uh, here you have Irregular Cab. Again, we saw it in this issue. And again, for those that maybe are picking this up here on this issue, there is an Easter egg um, back a couple of issues where the back window was broken out. And I talk about that on one of those other flip throughs. So there you have it. What do you think of this issue, July 2006? I look back and say, man, it was a very advantageous to kind of do something a little different, you know, really reinforce the mid size piece of it. Issue 175, July 2006. Appreciate all the support. Don't forget, this also had the pullout poster, which I think I kind of mentioned there in the middle, in the middle binding. Stay on the rise, everyone. OLP, you are many trucking headquarters. We out here. Peace.